Good evening everyone. It's the 18th of January. It's Wednesday evening and um, hope you all are having a good evening. You know, it's amazing to me how many people say they believe in the sovereignty of God and they proclaim that they believe God is sovereign and then they go about to question why God is doing certain things in their life. And they spend a lot of time talking about what is going on in the world, but yet they proclaim God is sovereign over all of it, <laughs> you know. And it is true, it appears that we're living in the midst of Babylon. But God has ordained all things, has he not? If he's ordained all things, that includes the existence of Babylon. It also includes the existence of evil in the world you know God is sovereign over evil he said in 45th chapter of Isaiah I create light I create darkness I create evil I the Lord do all these things and a lot of people get bent out of shape when you start giving God the glory over all things not just all the good things but all the bad things If you do a study in the Old Testament, you'll find that all these pagan nations that came against the Israelites were defeated by the Israelites. God told them to go out and slay them. The Amalekites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Malachites, they were pagans. They were not elect of God. They were vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. And what is the value of this doctrine? Well the value of this doctrine is that it puts God on the throne. God is not subservient to his creation. He doesn't owe his creation anything including rights. A lot of people say, I have rights. God doesn't owe you rights. If we got our just desserts, we would all be damned. We got our just desserts. But Christ chose to die on a cruel and rugged cross to save his people from their sins and he did it and so those who have been recipients of his grace have been shown mercy and grace I'm thankful for the grace of God I'm thankful that his mercies are new every morning and great is his faithfulness I'm glad that he's the author and finisher of our faith. I'm glad that we've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. I'm glad that we've been predestinated unto adoption. I'm glad that he works all things after the counsel of his own will, not his creature's wills. Gives us great comfort, great solace, does it not? To know that he is actually sovereign over evil. He's sovereign over government. He's so sovereign over Donald Trump. He's sovereign over Joe Biden. He's sovereign over Camelia Harris. He's sovereign over uh, McCarthy, the new Speaker of the House. He's sovereign over um, everyone in Congress, you know. And I'm glad to know that. I'm glad he's sovereign over all of our decisions. 
we've been predestinated it's been predetermined before we were born that we would be a recipient of God's grace if we're one of his and some people say they believe in the sovereignty of God but by their own acts they disprove it you know if you think about I've heard a lot of discussion lately about the book of Revelation and we've talked about 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2 and we've talked about um, Matthew 24 and the other parallel chapters in the gospel which speaks of the end times but believing in God's sovereignty is also believing God's word his that his his word is true that he everything that he speaks out of his mouth is true and it may be hard for us to accept it it may go against our flesh we may repel it but that still doesn't make it not true just because it repels us he says my sheep hear my voice and they follow me and no man can pluck them out of my hand and no man can pluck them out of my father's hand and he says he works all things after the counsel of his own will and so that's what's on my mind tonight is if we're going to proclaim God's sovereignty we must also um, realize that God is sovereign over all things not just some things and for God's people we're told that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and them who are the called according to his purpose it doesn't say all things are good it says all things work together for good there's been many things happen in my life that weren't seemingly very good at the time but they're working together for good and working together for good for God's elect that goes you know that that includes current events that includes the governments that are in power now they may be promoting evil and we should take a stand against evil but we must still realize that God's will will be done God's will will not be thwarted it will not be circumvented he's in charge and he is king he's not he doesn't have the lowly office of a servant anymore he came as a suffering servant but now he's a ruling king he's been put above all principalities and powers God hath highly exalted him. He's majestic. He has all glory, omnipotence, omniscience, omnipresence, all knowledge, all wisdom, all perfection, all holiness, all righteousness belongeth to him. Well, may the good Lord be with you this Thursday morning if you're listening to it Thursday morning or Wednesday evening and let us all remember always remember when we say God is sovereign that means that he is sovereign over all things God bless